Hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jay, and this is The Dirty Little Secret Deluxe by Cattle and Bread. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is uh, the standard Dirty Little Secret. And I remember when this thing first came out, it was quite a big deal because it was the first time I remember having a pedal make like a Princeton reverb sound like a Marshall stack. It was a really cool thing and I feel like it started this big uprising in amp in a box, Marshall amp in a box, foundation pedals to flood the marketplace and it continues to do so today. Well, uh, they've had three versions of the original Dirty Little Secret and now they've introduced this big boy over here. It's the Dirty Little Secret Deluxe and it gets the sound of the original um, and kind of takes it more towards like that authentic Marshall amp sound uh, by uh, not just dealing with the preamp, but digging deeper into the power amp. So they're modeling the power amp section, the phase inverter, there's an output transformer, and really getting that response from tip to tail just like you would with a big old Marshall amp. Uh, things that is really nice is they put the presence and the super bass slash super lead switch to the top of the pedal, uh, which has been a long request for a lot of people. Um, it also has a built-in boost function. So it's a, a preamp that you could either put before or after that Marshall circuit. And if you don't want to deal with the amp, you could also use the line out and go direct to the board. So as you can tell, this thing is bigger, it's burlier. Let's go see if it sounds bigger and burlier. Let's plug it into the amp, crank it up, and have some fun. Well, all right, let's go. We have a three knob EQ here with the presence. Uh, we have a preamp and master, and master actually works just like a master on a real amp, so it's actually uh, going to do a little bit of stuff when you crank it. It's really, really subtle though, but it's there just to add a little bit of excitement to your life. We have this little switch over here. Uh, this goes between the super lead circuit, a little bit more of a leady, a mid-rangey thing. This one, super bass, is a little bit more of a full sound, really good with single coils, actually. Actually. And then we have our boost circuit over here. Let's go start off on the super lead. This is my starting position. Let's go hear what it sounds like. This is a Fender Telecaster with a J Mod signature pickups and string joy strings. And I'm going into a Rev Generator 120. Nice, really neutral sounding clean here. <laughs> That sounds nice. Let's hear the dirty little secret. Love. 
nice and massive, and you can hear that crunch. I would say compared uh, to the standard Dirty Little Secret, um, I feel a little bit more of that crispiness up top, um, kind of like, uh, I, I think that's the power amp section, you know, that kind of like when you're pushing a power amp, it sounds kind of like Let's go to the super bass side of things. You could hear less gain and a little bit more chewy. cool super bass setting uh, that you couldn't do with the old Dirty Little Secret. You could pin the mids, pin the presence, and then really back off the bass and the treble, turn back and check out this sound. It's really, really lovely. Isn't that a lovely, lovely, it's like reedy, almost tweed-like. Let's turn it up and you get nice, kind of sluggy. Now we have a boost. The boost is gonna push into that sound uh, so we can get a little bit more saturation. And it actually goes pretty much from nothing to full on. <laughs> Let's hear what it does to the other side, the more uh, mid-rangey lead sound. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
lovely sound. Here's a couple other things you could do with that boost. One is you don't actually have to use it with the overdrive circuit. You could use it independently uh, for a nice full range boost. So this is my uh, just guitar and amp on its own. I could turn it on, get a nice full range sound. Not just that, but I could also change the order. So uh, out of the box, it's boost, then overdrive, but we could actually change that behavior and we could just have a little switch over here. Turn that switch on that way. And all of a sudden the order is switched. Now we're going overdrive, then the boost. And so instead of getting more saturation, we're actually gonna be getting more volume. Let's go into like a nice distortion sound. <laughs> more saturation than I'll ever need in my life, so let's go add the boost just to make it louder. Let's hear the difference if I uh, switch it the other way. Let's turn it this one here. And you can see it's just more saturated, not as loud. And this one will be just pure volume if I go on this way. Here we go. You could also use it to attenuate your tone. So let's go to the other side, the super bass section. Say I want to have that is my like main tone, but when the singer comes in, I want to be quieter, but not lose the amount of grit and saturation I have. Well, I could just attenuate it this way. Or boost it. I really like it that way, to be completely honest. And if you're wondering uh, what this extra little uh, knob over here is, it's actually a tightness knob. It just uh, gets rid of some of the external low end. So if things are getting a little bit too flubby, uh, you could turn it you know, up a little bit to start cutting some nastiness away. But to be honest, I like it out of the box just the way it is. The last little trick this pedal has up its sleeve is the line out. So if you don't want to use your amp at all, you want to go direct to the board, direct your computer. You could actually just load an IR uh, or like, you know, do a cab sim kind of thing and get all those wonderful Marshall tones on the go. It's really quick, it's really practical, and it's line level. You could actually run the out and the line level at the same time, but what I'm doing right now is I'm going the line level into a torpedo cap M by two notes, and I'm just using it for the cab sim, so I'm just dialing in like a, a 412 kind of thing, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs>
And that is The Dirty Little Secret Deluxe by Catalan Bread. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the Dirty Little Secret Deluxe, especially how I feel of it compared to uh, the uh, standard one, uh, check it out on Patreon. I do all my videos here on YouTube, but I reserve the reviews for the Patreon page. Uh, my question for the subscribers is, do you have an amp in a box pedal on your board and what amp is it trying to emulate? Please write it down in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.